Pike, before you do this, hmm? may I just offer one more word? Yes, of course. Uh, I didn't buy you a gift because nothing is expensive enough for you. <laughs> and, you know, I threw the one thing that you loved away in the acid pit, so, so instead I wanted to give you as a gift just a wish. A wish that your brother would be able to speak to you for just a moment or two on your wedding day. Is that possible? I'll cast wish. Okay. <laughs> How do you word your wish? I wish that Vaxel Dan can say a few words at his sister's wedding. A cold breeze comes drifting over the cliff face, passes by each of you, and you glance in the direction of the cliffside, and you see this dark silhouette towering 10, 15, 20 feet, a billowing mane of black hair and feathers, and a single white mask. From under the cloak, as it opens, you see a familiar set of black leather armor, a feathered mantle, and black hair. As Vaxeldon, the eternal champion and companion to the Raven Queen, steps for the first time in over a year, briefly, on this mortal plane. You said there is a mask affixed. As he steps forward, you can see what looks to be this blackened leather raven type face. Elements of it remind you of Percival's mask, but it's elegant and detailed. One other small detail from the shoulder rising up, looking like a cross between the cordyceps fungus and bone, spirals up and out of his shoulder and up his neck a bit. Scanlan short halt. You are toying with the designs of the gods, still, I see, old friend. What, I didn't have a, a present, so. <laughs> she will allow it. And thank you. With him? She's big. He's she's our the, size. She's the image that allowed you. That's okay. Yeah. So the Raven Queen's visage opened up the opened cloak, up. and that's where Vaxeldan stepped out. Thank you. His face comes off. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a skull. <laughs> Him. And then this works. I am so glad for you. A child. <laughs> yeah, a little girl. Mother. <laughs> yes, named of her. I missed you so much. 
Congratulations on this, your first of many blessings, Percival. <laughs> Thank you. Talk, talk to her, idiot. <laughs> Thank you. Don't be weird, talk normal, talk normal, talk normal. Don't worry about me. <laughs> I am safe and taken care of. I am always with you. I know. I know. You will live as long as all of your hearts a beating, I will live within them. And my love will never dim. How beautiful you look. I am so proud. as I knew it would. It's not the same without you. It will not be. How am I supposed to get over you if you keep sending ravens to me? Arthur gods. That was my poor attempt at humor. I never get over you. Nor I. But you will live. And your life will touch Speech. I pull her in closer. I am far, but not gone. 
we know. Forgive me. There's nothing to forgive. Nothing. We get to go on. Because of you. It's not taken lately. He begins to look around the entire group. <coughs> Your grace. The doink. Before he goes, what about the boots? 